Bowie, but in the outer world, Special Choice Edition, Murder on Eridamos Edition. I maybe can go into this room now. No? Damn it. Damn it! What else do you want me to do, Quest? I went through a little bit of a schnitzeljagd myself. Ah. Amelia still well. So I need to go to Amelia to get that room key. Because last time I was here I couldn't, you know, go in. And it's pretty obvious he dead. He dead, you know. You hear it. There's something in there. He dead. The boy dead. Ah, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe I can find the room key like that. Where's this gun? Needs to go Bye. right now. Inspector, I've detected a structural anomaly within a 0.8 meter radius of this locked door. Squint the floor panel. It doesn't quite fit. Very astute, Inspector. This floor panel appears to be slightly shorter than regulation length. About a third of a millimeter here. Now generating randomized flattery table. Well done, Inspector. What sharp oculars you possess. This floor panel is 0.3 millimeters shorter than regulation length, suggesting unauthorized modification. Uh, I definitely would have seen that. I'll bear that in mind. But that doesn't help me get into the room. Oh look, that's a model of... The hell is this? Damn it! Amelia Stillwell, so I need to talk to Stillwell. Or do I, can I do something here with that floor panel? I hate that sound. Yep, nice. Good thing I went over there for that quest. Good thing I went over there. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's just ignore it for the meantime. And do some of the other stuff. Wait. Oh god, so many schnitzeljagds. So we need to find Purty now there in the spaceport where we've just been at. Uh, first, wasn't a girl somewhere here that we get the quest from? Prophet of Prophet. Prophet of Prophet. Isn't that... Yeah, that's that's the bad stuff. Where's my new shotgun? There it is. Bring me down. I just wanted to make you smile. I brought you down. I brought you down, good. Did we win? How exciting. I hope I didn't get blood on my clothes. I hope I didn't get blood on my clothes. I hope I didn't get blood on my clothes. Just wanted to fit in. I need to down an energy drink in real life too. Is that Emilia? No. Oh god. Guess this is the wandering around part of the playthrough. She was there, right there, I believe. The girl who sent me on the Schnitzeljagd. Emilia, there she is. You've been staring at me rather blankly for quite some time now. Am I meant to believe that Waskitos do not have individual employee numbers? No, they do, but that's the problem. How are we supposed to know which ones tried to sting you and which ones didn't? I just got a list of ID numbers. Honestly, sir, I'm not comfortable with generalizing like that. Damn it. Damn it. Not cool. Well then, let's just keep on going till we find that ID number or stuff. The pool is not filled yet. Yeah. Guess it's a knight beckon. Uh, 
I'm sure that has an English translation. <laughs> oh! Not funny. Jump shot. Oh yeah. Never felt so dead. I just want to be your friend. Everyone all right? Oh, that was a room too. I'm really sure that robot. That's a anti-robot gun. Amelia? No. Amelia? No. Hope she's still well. <laughs> yeah, I know. Bye. Oh, it's Bertie actually here. Ah, oh. those calm down music. Those bridges are too long. Are we actually gonna find Bertie? Oh, he doesn't look that tall or imposing or dangerous. Just looks like a clown. What do you want? Ah, <sighs> you black old birdie, right? Not so loud. How'd you know it was me? Ah, <sighs> I'm an inspector and a damn good one. Yeah, that makes sense. You must be a good one to sniff me out. No. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. I'm pretty sure that's not the right word, and I, even I know that. Ah, incognito. Oh, yeah, I guess it's kind of neato. Oh, what's it matter? Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. You don't look that... tough either. Chin up, man. I'm an inspector. I'm not very bright either. Oh, so you're the inspector? Hope you have more luck figuring things out than me. You probably want to ask me some questions, huh? I'm sure you're asking everybody questions, so you can find Helen's killer. Yeah. So, uh, how do I help? Was it you? What were you doing at the night? Helen died. I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. What? You know, soaked. Muddled. Preserved. I think he means drunk. The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. Ah, oh, where'd you go? We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow. There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. I saw her. She's in a hotel room. So the woolly cow on the VIP floor was your doing. Oh, wow. That's real clever of you to figure out. Helen would have liked you, I'd wager. Say, is the cow okay? Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> do I look like a woolly cow doctor, do you? Oh, I don't like to assume things about folks from how they look. Mm. My memory is a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Could anyone from the pilot house back that up? Mm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. 
I was looking for where Helen stashed your data pad for safekeeping, right? She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. Uh, did you find it? Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is, it was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. <sighs> I wasn't keen on conversing, okay? I, I was drunk and holding someone else's data pad. And also, maybe I was crying a little. So I booked it. Ran like the Rangers were down by three and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. Yeah, I know what that means. Did anyone else see you in that night? Think hard. Anyone? Anywhere else? Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. Ah. Bert, come on, man. Who was it? I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. What? Not having a witness puts you in much bigger trouble. <laughs> what do you think, Pavard? You up for a little good inspector, bad inspector? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use Pavardi. <laughs> good one, Captain. No? Oh, you're serious. Y you want me to be the bad inspector? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, you're definitely the bad inspector type. You can do this. Just pretend you're a serial hero shaking down a dissentant. Oh! Oh, you mean like an Against the Outlaw Kings? There's this scene where Agent Khan grabs a fella by the collar and really gives him what for. Oh, yeah! That's a pretty intense scene. All right, you can do this, Parvati. <laughs> Just do what Agent Khan would do. Punch him in the Let face. You listen here, Birdie. You've been giving us the runabout, and I don't much appreciate it. Miss Helen's killer is still out there, and we got every intention of hunting him down. Whoa, you're... You're not going to do the part where Agent Khan pulls a pistol on the suspect, right? Pull your pistol. Let Pavati continue. You'd best tell us what you know. Because if any more innocent people die, that's going to be on you. You understand me? Wait. More folks could die? You're joking. Law, I had no idea this was so big. Was that too much? Put the gun. It's a matter of other folks' lives, then. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I used to calm down. Thanks, I follow up with that Auric, with the Auric fella. That sounds like a good idea. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Auric, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and the hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. God. I wish I could have also hear, heard Ellie's bad cop impression. And advice for the next time, Ali? A shot of Spectrum mixed in a Gigantor energy drink first thing in the morning. Works like a charm. I think mm. that probably counts as drinking, but thanks, ma'am. Uh. Anyway, uh, you ought to take Helen's data pad. Maybe you'll have better luck understanding her notes. Either she was writing in code or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said. Being bright was Helen's thing. Oh, I'll take a look at them. Okay. And listen, uh... I want to help you find our killer, Inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around. In case anybody gives you trouble. I have Pavati and Ellie. Ah, oh, sorry, Bertie. It's better if you're not involved. I get it. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? Take that stupid outfit and head off. Okay. Where does this lead me? Confirm Bertie's alibi. Okay, which means right around the corner. Damn. 
Why should I report already? Hey, pal. Over here. You look mighty blue. Double D, double die. Hey there. You looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? I Maybe don't like you're interested you. in something a little better than beer or Adreno? Something with a little mm. more kick? Oh, I'm gonna kick you in the face. What are you selling? The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? It says it right on the Anticleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture? Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. God, here's the choker scars. Ah, that sounds medically incorrect. Inaccurate, actually. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. Ah, <sighs> what kind of alternatives do you sell? What do I sell? I've got premium shit, my friend. Vitamins like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Calcium, vitamin D, reverse vitamin D. I got everything, my friend. You got stress problems? I got stress solutions. Aromatherapy eases the mind. Diluted mantis or essence. Best kept secret in the business. It's probably just ground up fast ration pills. Or it's the real thing, which is an incredibly dangerous hallucinogen that tastes disgusting. And if you're a real freak, techniques to calm yourself by fooling your own mind. If they can tame the rage of a certain well-known tossball star, they can help anybody. Ellie was super blue in that cutscene. Double D, double die. I like to ask you some questions about Bertie Holcomb. Wait, you ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. I'm a cop. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. What makes you think I'm a sheriff? Because you talk like one. I'd like to ask you some questions. No one says that outside of the serials. Hmm. Turns out a damn question already. All right, all right, fine. Yeah, I know, Birdie. So what? Ah. <sighs> Heard you taught Birdie some breathing techniques. Yeah, that was me. Birdie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. Are you a bad kid, Mr. Quark? Quark, I was pronouncing him almost. What? How do you know Birdie? He may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. <laughs> Why would someone want to be negative? Do you want to lower that for some reason? Maybe doping? So you dope first, and it doesn't make sense. What for? He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. And then you throw in playing toss ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. Ah. What do you mean, toss ball does things to the head? I mean, that's a stupid question, but let's ask it. Come on. Birdie's a damn good hacker, but taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. I worry about him, that's all. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. Yeah, that's an ice hockey player problem too. Uh, was Bertie with you the night Halcyon Helen was killed? Yeah. Damn shame about that. Bertie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Okay, I guess his alibi is correct. And that's it. Report. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't enter the hotel. Damn it. There. No. There. Up, up, up. How far are we into it? 19 minutes and just talking again. I mean, we had some fights in between. Oh. Inspector? 
I managed to drag down Black Hole Bertie. I'm pleased to hear that. Bertie Holcomb is a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers property. Mm. When Helen was murdered, Bertie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. Ah. Oh. Bertie's something of a character. But he's harmless. I feel a little bit bad for him. Try not to feel too bad for him. Bertie is a brilliant athlete. The universe has balanced his talent by making him a slack wit. Hmm. <laughs> ah, that's just normal sports life. Teammates being a bad influence. Ah. This deal is about the only guy he can talk to. I wasn't aware Birdie was involved in contraband. What kind of dealer are we talking about? Vitamin B deficits. Temperament, I can tell you that. I'm investigating Helen's murder, not contraband goods. Uh, of course, you're right. My apologies. Bertie's behavior is my problem to solve, not yours. Even if Bertie isn't responsible for Helen's murder, his conduct is vexing to me. He may require a lesson in consequences. Ooh. Be plain with me, Inspector. Do you believe Black Hole Bertie killed Helen? Ah. Oh. Who cares? He's the perfect space goat. Do you mean scapegoat? <laughs> Inspector, you're not here to help me find a convenient space go scapegoat. I meant scapegoat. Oh, for law's sake, now you've got me saying it. Just oh. do what you were hired to do and find the killer. Meh. By the way, Purdy agreed to stay at the Grand Colonia. I appreciate that. I'd rather keep Bertie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. I'll make my report of your investigation into Bertie. Do you have anything else for me? No. And there. No. Definitely not. Where's the equilibrium? Ah. Uh, there's so much talking going on right now. And beforehand I was about to say the basing of this game is good. And now it's just talk that talk with some fights here and there for a few seconds. Ah, oh, yeah. I got that SMS. Right. Work related. Choose. Let's choose. Okay. No sign of Amelia still well. Who the hell? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Map region. We're about to go here, so we need to go. Let's go here. Yes. Get me there. Damn it. Ah. And I need to eat again. Boston bag beans. Hope you've been enjoying your stay. Eh. I need to go places. I got this shotgun. Then we got this big gun. Next shotgun, big gun. I mean, I leveled up all my long guns. So it only makes sense if I use a lot of long guns. Or is the other one already a big gun? Eh. Emilia? No. And damn it, this will take forever. Skip forward. 35 minutes. Ah, seconds. Seconds. Is here. More birds. Your best shot, 
my boys is gone. Ugh. My voice is just gone. It's gone. What are you? Nothing. Okay, it's coming back. Ah, no. Nah. Sell stuff. Dup, 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 dup. Damn, that's crap. Not the best choice. Mm. I'm gonna save for that. Go, let's just keep going. Holy hell, this looks like a big goddamn planet. Brrr. Cool though, very cool. Let's look into what lies beneath or on top, I guess. Hey, the elevator is coming down automatically. Fancy. Ah, damn it, and a lot of dead Got people. It. Daudry Danger. Daudry Danger. That's kind of a cool name. And you? Silvio Dran. This is Silvio Tran, setting a new record for the Grand Colonial Bellhops Laundry Cart League. If you're listening to this, you're listening to history. And Daudry, as we agreed, when I win, you're scraping terrorist shit off the windows for the rest of your contract. And you can stow the fear of heights routine because there's no way you're weaseling out of that, pal. Here goes. That's... Move the box! No, not... No! That's how you know you fucked up. Idiots. Um, uh, let the canics and the spreads loose. The canics and the spreads. Okay, let's go up. And you? No name. No name. Ah, yes, I see the tree no time. Damn. That's quite the height. Let's see if we get a cool view here. This seems like a big, big place. Are people live up here? The hitbox on those creatures. Non-existent. Okay. Give me that. A nice little forest. There's too much of a pink sky. What oh, nice ultra. Yeah, look, that's nice looking. Can I put my gun away? Yeah. Ah, oh, settings. UI. Hot. Oof. For the nice screenshot. Druk. Did I? No, I did not. No, maybe. Maybe. Could be the uh, FT dope. Okay, let's see on the map there. Uh, that's the name of the murder. Huh. They actually want me to frame a, frame a name a random person. I sent him tourist, just a random tourist here. Hmm, kinda quiet. 
Something I didn't expect. Are we heading inside, Captain? Don't worry. I got your back. That's all I needed to hear. And those woolly cows won't do me a thing now. Legal hunting <laughs> supplies. Excuse me, Gunther. I need to ask you something. Who in the hell is Gunther? I told you to call me Hunter. Come on. Oh. All right. G uh, Hunter, have you seen a little mechanical wandering through here? Might have been wearing my hat. I can't say I have. I can sell you a new hat if you want. Or some fine, legally obtained hunting supplies. You could go get that mechanical thief yourself. She's not a thief. She's lost. I just want her back. I smell a side quest. Mildred Lennox. Oh, hey there, stranger. Don't mean to interrupt your business, but uh, have you seen a stray mechanical wandering about? Ah, oh, I don't think I have. Sorry. Laws, oh, that's not good. I hope she hasn't gotten herself into any trouble. Oh, so instead of hunting wildlife, you're hunting mechanicals. Doesn't seem very fulfilling. Oh, I ain't no hunter. <laughs> At least not in the traditional sense. Wrench has always suited me better than firearms. A mechanical under my care up and wandered off, that's all. I gotta get her back before anyone notices that either of us are missing. The shopkeep says I should buy one of his rifles and go looking myself. But like my machine, I'm not combat inclined. We can help her out, right? Won't take too long if we're on the job. <sighs> I know it's a pain, but I think I need some outside help. Job or no job, I'm not leaving Betty out in the wastes. Betty, Pavardi is kind of like that one. What kind of mechanical is your last lost charge? What? What kind of mechanical is your lost charge? Hm. Betty's just your standard tripod mechanical. Though she probably is still wearing my hat. <laughs> Without it, she seems kind of naked. Her main purpose is cacao milking, but the only cacaos in the reserve are close. Without a directive, she shouldn't have had reason to wander away from the milking area. Ah, oh. Saints, hope it's not milking anything, not a cacao. Almost all other beasts' milk is toxic. Nothing a few dozen rounds of processing and human trials can't fix. Gonna need to find Betty in the first place before anything can or can't happen with what she's milked. Ah, oh, and now Ellie was orange. I'll keep my eye out for us. any suspicious mechanicals. Hey, thanks so much. It would have been mighty lonely without her. Uh, uh, being unemployed, I mean. Be lonely being unemployed. <laughs> if you not... find Betty, try sneaking up and hacking her. If you can't do that, finding a way to stop her current routines should send her back home. Shooting her? Maybe you should try making the calls yourself, Hunter S. Leaguer. For Steven. Welcome to Hunter Legal's Legal Hunter Supplies. I am Hunter Legal. How might I help you today? Fake name, huh? Ah, interesting name of shop has. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. It is a perfectly normal name for a shop dispensing hunter supplies. Ah, oh, do you mean hunting supplies like the sign above your shop says? These are supplies for hunters. Hunter supplies. It works either way. I. It works either way. Just works. Boy, damn it. I wish I thought to get that sign switched out when I changed my name. Ah. <sighs> I'm investigating the murder of Hassan Helm. Have you seen or heard anything unusual lately? Unusual? This whole land complex is a failed wildlife exhibition turned hunting reserve. You can't go ten feet without stepping in unusual. But I reckon you're asking about people unusual. I'd go have a chat with the prophet of profitability. Maybe she can intuit you in the right direction or something. Hmm. But she is mighty far in the depths of the reserve. Perhaps you should purchase one of my fine armaments for the journey. Oh. Is this really the best place for a shop? Where 
better to sell hunter supplies than in the depths of the wilds, surrounded by creatures that are just waiting to devour you. I've got an excuse, but the Prophet and her retreat don't, and they're even farther out. Prophet said I should gift her some rifles to improve my aura or something. I told her what she could do with her aura. Haven't spoken to her since. But you look like you're smart enough to not make the decision that she'll invariably regret. Oh. Hunter supplies. Get your hunter supplies. What a good shop owner. Is there something special under the... No, there's not. There's not. It's all just normal stuff. Okay, there. Have my hunter supplies. My leftovers. There it is. Thank you. Oh, I... Let's see if I can. Lost little milk mac. This direction. This direction. Let's find that. Then the episode is over. How many minutes? 36. So I guess this will be 40 or 45 minute journey. That's a nice journey. Towards the unknown. I saw something dangerous over ahead. Can it? Damn it. I think we're milking can it. Here we go. Nice one. Oh boy. That is... Yeah, sure. Keep him quiet, Captain. So will it be that easy? was that easy. I don't know what just happened with Ellie, but it kind of scared me. Oh, didn't look good. Didn't look good. Oh, look, they actually tried to keep them in this cage here, and it just broke out and apparently killed everybody. Jurassic Park. Vibes here. Here we go. Down they go. Holy hell. Oh. Someone Someone snuck through. Up, right? And I'm here now. My leg is broken. Ah. I don't need any perks anymore. I don't need any perks anymore. My leg is broken. Damn it. Now I'm slow too. I hope I can fast travel. Ugh. Then I need to go to sleep. Hey. Come on, let me sleep on one of those beds. Please. Maybe the mat, the yoga mat. No. Hmm. It looks actually not too bad. Can it, Pharaoh? Mm. Damn it, nothing here to sleep with. And I mean, there's enough gear to sleep with. Jade hits that cane, it's not what we would sleep with. I can just. Don't tell me it's beneath the lift and not on top. Okay, go. Oh god, I already regret it. Was there a house here? Sleeping? Let's check, double check, no. No, okay, there I, there I can't, I can't walk there. It's gonna take too long. I hate that mechanic. It just doesn't work. 
and they didn't fix it in the Spatial Choice Edition. Of course, they did not. Tell me there's a bat somewhere here. No. Maybe in that shack over there. It's a bad accessory. Hey, I almost can't believe it. Betty found her way back. Here I was thinking I'd never see her again. Hmm. Ah. One little functioning mechanicus promised she was trying to make cannons. Oh, Betty, you big goof. What were you thinking in that little metal noggin of yours? You nearly worried me to death. And you, ain't you just the most reliable freelancer in the colony? Let me just take a look at Betty here and we'll talk about payment. Yep, that's right. Her parameters for movement and target acquisition are a mess. I'll bring her back to the garage and get her sorted out. Since Betty's back safe and sound, I'll be sure to let my co-workers know that you're a good one. Here's some money for your effort. Least I can do to show my thanks. Uh, if you don't want your supervisor learning about your screw up, I'll need more. I guess this is what I get for hiring on the first person who'd listen to me out here. This is all I have on me. Now I guess I better go before you ask for more. Yep, yeah, I would do that. I just want to look at the picture. Damn it, come on. Tell me there's a bed in there. I just need to sleep. Ugh. Look how slow I am. It's just... Just a toilet. It's just a toilet. We're done here. I need to find my way to the next bed. Peace out.